Blueface mom is dropping a serious bombshell and making fans wild as she reveals who she is going to marry? Did Megan the Stallion accidentally revealed her new romance? And why is Usher facing body double accusations after a recent tour stop? Today's video covers all the drama, don't miss it. With Blueface currently behind bars, new updates about the rapper are surfacing. His mother, Carlisa Saffold Harvey, has recently provided insight into his relationship with Jaden Alexis, the mother of his oldest children. In a recent Instagram livestream shared by Hot New Hip Hop, Carlisa Saffold Harvey revealed specific details about the relationship between Jaden and Blueface. When a commenter inquired about the a Barbie rapper, Carlisa replied, Jaden will always be family, and that's just how it is. Carlisa went on to reveal that Jaden isn't particularly interested in rekindling her romance with Blueface, noting that she doesn't have those feelings for him anymore. Although Blueface and Jaden are no longer together, they share two children, Javon and Journey. The former couple gained significant attention on social media after announcing their engagement in October 2022. Jaden even shared several videos of the special moment on her Instagram story. However, their engagement seemed short-lived as breakup rumors surfaced when Blueface deleted photos of Jaden from his Instagram in November 2023. During the Instagram Live, Carlisa confidently predicted that Blueface would marry Megan Thee Stallion once he's released. My son is going to marry Megan the Stallion and that's gone be it, okay. Carlisa says in the video. Roommates, if you remember, this isn't the first time Carlisa has tried to pair her son with Megan. As previously reported by The Shade Room, Blueface's mother attempted to play matchmaker back in June, taking to Instagram to ask fans if they thought he and Megan would make a good couple. However, the idea didn't gain much traction, with most commenters agreeing that the Houston hottie wouldn't be interested in Blueface. Neither Megan nor Blueface has responded to Carlissa's comments, but recently, Megan sparked some online chatter when she appeared on Instagram looking quite cozy with Chicago Bulls basketball player Tori Craig. On Tuesday, August 27, The Shade Room reported that a video was circulating showing that a savage rapper and the NBA player in bed together, participating in a popular couple's challenge on social media. While Megan and Tori haven't confirmed their relationship status, their answers during the challenge left fans speculating that there might be more than just friendship between them. On the other side it seemed an accident reveal, rapper Megan Thee Stallion and NBA player Tori Craig were spotted together in a TikTok couples challenge, igniting dating rumors. Megan Thee Stallion seems to have confirmed her relationship with Chicago Bulls player Tori Craig. In a video that was quickly taken down from social media, the pair participated in a TikTok couples challenge on Wednesday. They answered a series of questions about their relationship as part of the trend. Although the video was removed, fans quickly picked up on key details, including who made the first move. Megan Thee Stallion's love life has been a hot topic lately, and her recent social media appearance has only intensified the speculation. In a video shared by Much Music, the rapper and NBA player Tori Craig took part in a game where they answered questions by pointing at each other or themselves with their eyes closed. Fans were intrigued by the strong connection between the two. Although they agreed on most questions, such as who would be more likely to end up in jail or who is more spoiled, they pointed at each other when asked, who said, I love you first. So who said I love you first? Tori did. The NBA star, who was recently linked to Nicole Zavala from the reality show Cartel Crew, appears to have confirmed his relationship with the Hiss rapper. In the video, they even revealed that Megan won the round four, who is the better kisser. However, the video was abruptly cut short, and it's unclear how the 29-year-old met the athlete. This is definitely Megan's first relationship since her breakup with rapper Partisan Fontaine last year. Before her relationship with Partisan Fontaine, Megan was involved in a highly publicized incident with rapper Tori Lanez. In 2020, Lanez shot Megan in the foot while they were in a vehicle together. Their relationship ended soon after this incident. Tori Craig, on the other hand, is a professional basketball player currently with the Chicago Bulls. Over his career, he has played for several NBA teams, including the Denver Nuggets, Milwaukee Bucks, and Phoenix Suns. In May 2023, Megan fueled breakup rumors when she attended a wedding with Belgian soccer player Romelu Lukaku. Her song Cobra, released in November 2023, hinted that Lukaku had cheated on her, though he later denied these allegations. Meanwhile Craig, who has been in the NBA for seven years, was recently linked to reality star Nicole Zavala. Earlier this month, Megan was announced as the host for the 2024 MTV Video Music Awards, where she is nominated for five awards. Her hosting role follows the release of her self-titled third album in June. The album features several tracks, including the TikTok viral Mamushi, named after a snake found in Japan. In an interview with L Official USA in May, the wannabe singer discussed how the reptile influenced her latest era. We don't just stop at the snake. 
this is just what everybody sees right now. Renewal, rebirth, that is the whole concept of this album, she told the outlet. We started with the snake because, first of all, I love snakes, but I feel like snakes are so misunderstood, especially in Western culture, Megan added. Snakes represent rebirth, spirituality. She continued, I am not really a person that's like, oh my god, sunshine and just super bubbly, happy. I like darker things. I like things that are a little scary. I like things that are unique. I picked the snake because, it's kind of like an anti-hero. On the other side, Usher is facing some wild cloning accusations following a recent underwhelming performance in Washington, D.C. During the D.I.C. stop of his past present future tour, the show failed to meet the high expectations set by his sold-out Las Vegas residency, where he wowed crowds of fans. After a viral clip of him performing and good good at Capital One Arena last week, fans on TikTok speculated that he might have used a clone, with some even suggesting that the microphones might be to blame. A TikTok user shared two videos that got fans talking about Usher's voice and his somewhat stiff dance moves. In the first video, the 2024 Super Bowl halftime performer is seen singing his hit song, Yeah, to the crowd, but his voice sounds unusually high. Who is this on stage? One person asked in the comment section. Another person commented, mimicking his vocals on stage. Nobody will convince me that's the real Usher. What is going on here? His performance of A Good Good of from his new album Coming Home sparked similar confusion, with fans further speculating about the possibility of an imposter. His voice also sounded a few pitches too high. One fan exclaimed, Girl that's Usher's clone, as another said, I didn't even recognize Usher. Pop Brains took to threads on Instagram to discuss Usher's performance, with one fan defending the 2024 BET Lifetime Achievement Award recipient amidst a flood of calls for verification. Can anyone confirm this was actually one of his shows and not some fake as show from an impersonator? A person asked. A fan clarified, this was in DC, but he definitely was there performing. This was the end of the show, but when he said, I didn't think it sounded like him. Calls for Usher to take a break grew louder after he postponed the first three dates of his tour, including sold-out shows in Atlanta, due to a neck injury sustained during rehearsals. According to People, the 45-year-old addressed the situation on Instagram, stating, I hoped that physical therapy and medical treatment would help me overcome the injury and be ready for opening night. Unfortunately, the injury hasn't healed yet, and my doctors have advised me not to perform any shows this week. In his defense, one supporter remarked, he's clearly not feeling better, bless his heart. In Vegas, he was popping and locking and roller skating. I'm glad I got to see that version. Another said, I was at the confer last night. Usher did amazing. For those complaining about the way he moved, y'all forgetting he 45, of course he's not going to move the same as 20 years ago. In addition to the demands of touring, Usher recently married the mother of his two youngest children. The pace has been relentless, especially for an artist who, in his more mature years, may not be accustomed to such intense schedules. Let us know what do you think, don't forget to like share and subscribe and thanks for watching.